I'm going to demonstrate plein air painting and I found a spot out in the desert and I like to get the light just right so in this case it required me to sleep overnight in the desert it's October so it's really cold in the morning the sun's just coming up I want to get the early light so I'm up at dawn So I'm out on Broadwell Dry Lake, it's about 60 miles from Barstow. I came out here exploring a couple years ago and I came across this thing. It's like a big car part. Lots of bullet holes in it, lots of rust, lots of cool texture. So I modified it a little bit and then I'm going to paint this in my still life. I actually started this painting years before and uh, it kind of works. Basically what I've done is push the mountains back a little bit blocked out the area for the debris piece and I'm gonna work on that. I got everything else pretty much done. I got the color wheel here, color wheel here, three primaries, three secondaries, some extra blue, browns, white, gray, and black. Ready to go. It's my selection of brushes, a couple number twos. Um, nothing real big. First thing I'm gonna do is establish where things are. It's gonna be a little higher, it looks like, right about there. Okay, I'm gonna block in some major shapes of light and shadow. So Say I'm just blocking in. in the major parts right now. light gray is showing up. I created what I would say is uh, underpainting, establishing all shadows, basic colors laid down. You'll notice in my palette I used everything. The only thing I didn't use that much of is gray. Lots of gray in that I didn't use it here. But everything else I used except looks like I didn't use green. Alright, I used everything in my palette. As it gets later in the day sun comes up higher shadows start to change. That's why I wanted to establish them now. They may change in my painting later as I add more detail. What I want to add now is the cast shadow. Now the photograph and the video probably shows that as black. I'm looking at it from here being in the spot, seeing the light from the sky bring those colors down into this area. So this is actually bluish. That's why it's important to work plein air if you want to get colors correct.
So I'm moving a little closer so I can see some more of the detail. It's time to start fine tuning. Now with plein air painting, you only have so long before the sun changes and then you're out of business. So most plein air painters paint rapidly, impressionistically, dabby, quick. Since I'm gonna be taking this painting home and finishing it in a studio, finishing it in the studio, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just tighten up in some areas and then call it quits before the sun changes too much. Now one way to change values quickly is smudge, finger paint. <laughs> 